Okay, here, what I'm happened? Ah? Uh? I did. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Wait. Ah, I did. Yes? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am trying to record while my baby is here and she's kind of kicking the tripod, but hopefully we can get through this video. I want to share with you guys a little bit more in depth of the cloth diapers that I ended up using. I did do another video on this and I'll link it down below in case you haven't seen it. Um, but I kind of just talked more about the covers and it was when my baby was just like a few months old or probably just one month old. So then I decided to continue going as far as I could or as long as I could. Um, so I recently moved out of our apartment. We moved out and we moved back into my mom's house in case you guys are new to my channel and are a little lost. Um, so what happened was during that transition when I think we moved in here like in February, our stuff were still packed, everything was half of it was here half of it was still over there it was a, a long process and so in the midst of all that it kind of just it kind of our diapers kind of got packed and we didn't couldn't find them and then we could and they were dirty we need to wash them so we ended up using regular disposable diapers i did find some i guess environmental friendly um, diapers on Amazon and I'll put the link to them as well so you guys can check those out if you you're kind of in between like you don't want to use regular diapers I guess that are with chemicals and all this stuff and you kind of don't want to use cloth diapers I think that was a great option for me so I did try them so my baby was like um, a year and three months um so she was still pretty tiny she was on size two I was planning to go all the way up to size three but because we did do that, I we kind of just stopped. And I, I'm assuming we're going to potty train her soon. So then it's fine. So I basically used the same. Once I found my method, that's kind of all I stuck to. But I did use a few different um, inserts inside the, the cover. So the covers are all thirsties. Um, I was planning to use different ones. But I just really like these. So I, I didn't feel like I wanted to change. So I just got a bunch of these in different colors. Um, they're all snap-ons. Um, all the inserts I bought were a little different. The ones that I really liked since the beginning were the ones that I sh I talked a little bit about them on the other video. Mm. These, I really liked them. These were actually the newborns. And I found that these were a little too big on my newborn. So I didn't use them right away because she was just too small. But these are the newborn size, which is a pretty good, decent size. And then you just, I just folded them, like, the way they're supposed to. And then that was it. I put that inside the diaper and snapped it on. And then that was her diaper. But, um, I did go the size bigger, which the next were, were these, the ones with the red. So the other ones were purple. These are red. And the only thing that I found was, I'm not sure if it was because... When I was breastfeeding my baby, she the the poop everything was fine. Um, stains weren't being left on the cloth, but I noticed that when I started giving her formula, which wasn't as often, but when I did, she would poop, and then it ended up leaving like stains like on the diapers. I don't want to put Clorox on them because I found that I did that once and it destroyed the cloth diapers so I would suggest not to put Clorox just because it's really harsh on the material and it kind of started making like holes like this okay there so it kind of made like a bunch of like this all over it and uh, I had to throw a lot of the newborn ones with because these are thicker than these and these felt like to pieces like it all just fell apart so I didn't do that again because that's expensive so I don't put Clorox on these I know if you put Clorox on it the stains will probably come out but I don't really mind the stains um, as long as I know it's really really clean like I know it's clean I double I double wash them and I put them in hot water and I like using the soil I know it's this green bottle that's like this big it's really good for the stain so that's what really helped them take it take it off but even then I mean you can still see it and the lighting probably makes it even I don't know if it washes it out or makes it more obvious I don't know but um that was the only issue I did come across but I didn't really mind I knew it it was clean 
and so then and then I would always also try to find a way to fold it to kind of like put that in, uh, away so it's somewhere in there it's not really even exposed so there's always that I usually use these at night and there were times that I had to like double the thing the inserts so it would just because my baby started peeing a lot more during the night so at first it was no problem but at night when she was drinking a lot more um she would soak it up and then she would wake up so we always had that problem as well that it needed to stay dry eventually because otherwise she would wake up crying and so then we ended up also switching to diapers at night because like the original disposable diapers because we noticed that the wet diapers were waking her up and then like every little time she peed she would wake up and because even if it was just a little bit I was like really um, so we ended up just using regular disposable diapers at night for a little bit until it kind of passed All right, so this is a red one this is the yellow one it's more of difference in length so this is how much you're getting more what I did with these yellow ones is I would fold them like this and then put the diaper let me see if I can show you so I would open the diaper lay it down lay it flat and then I would put this like on top of it and make it fit in a way that it looks like this you know like like that and then I would lay her on top of it so ooh, I would lay her on top of this whole little piece and then I would kind of just fold it in the front enough to be like like that so this is kind of how it looks like and then I would kind of just close it up and before I snapped it I would always make sure to tuck this in so like that and then tuck that in and then I would snap it and then I would make sure that all the pieces of the cloth are actually stuffed inside so if anything was that I would if anything was out um, I would just stuff it in and then that would be her night diaper I liked using the yellow ones more during the night because they were bigger so it soaked up more um, so as my baby kind of grew you kind of just feel it out you test them out I kind of experimented combining different inserts um, I also had bought the double the double something from Thirsty's the double something inserts so I I used that for um I was going to put it in there so it could soak up more um so I in total I used four different inserts I used the yellow one the red one and the purple one now all these are from the same brand um I will link them to the Amazon a link um I will link this down to the, in the description box um it's an Amazon you get basically I think you get 12 of each you get a dozen of each so it's a good price for like 37 bucks or something like that so I got a dozen of each so that's what I have for my um and of course you do not need these straight from the like start unless you want to and you have the money I went little by little buying them um I just bought the newborn and maybe I got the red ones and then I got the size ones and then that was it I also liked using um cloth wipes instead of the regular wipes and I used them the same way I got a wet bag to put them in there and I put like just water and a little bit of coconut oil just because I didn't want like her bum to be a little too dry I just liked it a little bit more moist um, and then besides those the red yellow and purple ones I did use these now when you get these obviously this one's ripped because I wanted to show you guys but the rest of them are fine I wanted to show you this these were called something else I think they're still by the same company I think they're just a different line oh no wait these are the Chinese prefolds Chinese something I don't know I'm gonna check everything that I, I show you guys I will link it down below so you guys can go purchase them of course they're from Amazon so these came when you first buy them it's really really important that you wash them first the other ones I didn't really wash them I didn't listen to the other people I just kind of used them um, but I mean they do work better once they're washed because they're they be, I don't know the material kind of gets a little more what's it called they absorb more of the pee I guess so these for sure there's no way around it when you first get them they do not look like this cotton material they're like this whole other 
I don't know, like cheap material that you're like, what the heck is this? It's not cotton. And so, and I tried, <laughs> and I did try to use them without washing them. I was like, there's no way. So I used it. P went right through them. Like, it didn't hold anything. It just, it was total fail and it made a mess and I had to clean everything up. I needed to wash her and clean her because the pee just spilled right through. So it didn't hold it at all. So I thought that was a waste of money. I was like, what the heck is going on? But I did wash them and once I washed them, they turned like this. It totally changed like the, the feeling, the material to totally changed and they work. The only thing with these is like I've had to fold them like um, three, four times. So that's one, two, three and like four and then it becomes an insert so I will put it in the diaper and then kind of fold it and that's it um what I really liked about these though is that they're a lot more thinner than the other ones the other ones are a lot thicker and so these I would sometimes fold it you can mess around with it to shape your baby's body um I found that folding them like like this just folding them like over like that um and then just placing it in the middle and then snapping them on. My hair is everywhere. It's annoying. Um, okay, so I just found that putting them like like that and then snap, snap, and then that's her diaper walking around. Um, I thought that was easier, just folding like that. And I found that that was a lot more easier to explain to other people. I did have a babysitter who I asked her if she wouldn't mind doing diaper. Um, diaper cloth diapering and she was really nice and she accepted it and I made it really simple for her I was just like you fold them in like three pieces you put them in the middle of the diaper like that and then you just close it up and snap snap that's it and then it, I, I told her if she peed just change the insert the cloth part just take the cloth and dump it into the wet bag that I, uh, I gave her, which is like a little squared one. And then just dump it in there, put her another one, and then just close it and use it. Now, if she pooped, I told her just take the whole thing and just dump the whole thing. You don't worry about the poop or anything. Just dump it in the wet bag, and then I'll take care of it once I, I get to her afterwards. So, she 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 got it real, right away, and she didn't mind which was really helpful for me and also it was easier to teach my husband as well. He didn't mind doing the cloth diapering but he did need a little bit of um, practice because he he didn't know how to, like he would leave the pieces of cloth like sticking out and I was just like no her clothes are gonna get wet if you don't make sure everything's inside the, the cover. Now I do also recommend getting a diaper pail like wet bag. It's, it's pretty big it has a little snap on and I think I carry them inside here when I have to go take them to wash and it's the same material as the diapers so the same material outside and it's the same thing inside so that's kind of gives you an idea of what that bag looks like and then I think that's it so I really liked my inserts I think they held up well as long as you don't put Clorox on them I know you're gonna be tempted to put maybe a little bit but I do find that Clorox is really strong in it. Even if you put a teaspoon, like a tablespoon of Clorox in your laundry, over time, I think it's just gonna make them fall apart. So I would recommend just using that other bottle, the green one with the soil thing, because it does take away the stains and the odor, and it just does clean it better um, without the harsh like Clorox chemicals. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really liked doing cloth diapers, and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna use them again for my second baby once we decide to have a second one. And the only thing um, that did kind of mess up is like the stains. I even got them on the diapers, but I mean, I'm not. I haven't tried putting Clorox on these, and I kind of don't want to just because I'm not sure if they're gonna hold up well. And I kind of don't really mind the stains. I mean, I know it's clean. It's like, I let them soak in. So sometimes it comes off a little bit less, but like, I don't know if it was the formula or the food, I don't remember anymore, that started to make those like really bad stains. Because otherwise, besides that, the diapers held up pretty well. So that's it for today. If you guys have any more questions or you guys want me to do, um, more in detail video of how I put the diapers on. Maybe I can do that. Um, 
but I mean there's plenty of resources do your own research I really liked cloth diapering it's not any more work except doing like maybe one more laundry load which isn't much um and I didn't even have a laundry in my house I I had to go around the corner go to a laundry mat to wash my diaper the diapers so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video and hopefully this was helpful for you guys bye